What's cracking lacking folks? It is Hulu here and today I'm showing you another golem deck to help you reach a legendary arena and let's get straight into it. If you do like this video, make sure to subscribe, like and comment what you think down below. So here is the golem deck right here. It features the golem, the rocket, the skeleton barrow, the inferno tower, the bandit, the bats, the archers and the log. So quick rundown of the deck. Basically what you want to do is sort of build up elixir, wait till double elixir, uh, put your golem at the back and then move forward defending with your with your bats and inferno dragon obviously and bandit and then trying to push with the archers and the skeleton barrel. So let's get straight into a deck here. Straight into a deck, straight into a battle. So this deck is aimed at, um, at helping you move through Arena 10 and potentially reaching Arena 11. So I've, I've played the Golem right off the bat um, just to see what he's got so I can pre prepare in case he has got an Inferno Tower or something um, in future pushes. I can prepare for that. So there we go, um, straight there. I'm gonna put the skeleton barrel um, there. The skeleton's gonna take care of that. And I'll log that for a positive works to trade with that as well, with the princess as well. So you can clearly see right now that he's using a log bait deck. Um, with very little cards, along with um, the Inferno dra uh, the Inferno Tower and the Knight. So the Inferno Dragon will take out this Knight here, and we might try and put the Skeleton Barrel behind that. Oh, bad decision. That was a bad decision. Um, but... We will just log that, get a positive looks to trade, and there we go. Um, so in a sec, I'll put my golem at the back. I might just put my bats in first. The Inferno Tower is particularly annoying, but I think what we will do is use the rocket on the Inferno Tower. So I'll put the bandit there. Rocket going in straight away. Bang. Um, I will put the log down as well. Come on. Stay alive, Golem. Go, 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 go. So a lot of damage being done on that tower there. Oh, and the goblin barrel will get distracted by the golem. And the bandit gets a hit off. So we are very close to taking out this left tower here. Um, once again, rocket that. Hopefully the archers will finish it off. And the golem's going in. The skeleton barrel's going in. The bandit's going in. I think this is game. I think it's good game. And there we go. Yep, skeleton barrel drops and GG. Look at that. Nice, solid win. So that just shows you the effectiveness of this deck. And that was against the Inferno Tower. Now, it wasn't a great decision that we did have to play the um, the rocket against the Inferno Tower, but um, obviously that worked in that situation. And just because he had no other cards that could deal with it, uh, uh, could, de could deal with the Golem apart from the Inferno Tower, so once we got rid of that, that meant that nothing else could stop it. Um, so the rocket is handy definitely in those situations and that is one of the big reasons why the rocket is in that deck and also be the, the other reason is also because um, this deck struggles to take down um, a few uh, bigger troops that we do use the rocket to take out such as uh, three muskies um, and you know like wizards and executioner combos and that sort of thing. 
um, they tear through this, de this deck, so that's what you use the rocket for. But in this situation, the rocket was amazing for taking out that Inferno Tower. Um, so there you go, give this deck a try, see what you think, comment um, what do you think about this deck below, if it's worked for you, if it hasn't, tell me why, um, and that's it for today, Hulu is out, bye.